Here's our new heavy metal press, 8094. It's a 10-ton press. It's got a large reservoir, air over hydraulic pump. And it's got a gauge up on the top, 10 inches of travel. You can actually use it for brooch and hubs. You got enough distance in between to run a brooch. And right now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on a big block Chevy dampener. And we set it up on the first throw, that way you don't bend it. And we can put a spacer in between or else we can go the full, full travel. I usually use a spacer. I guess I won't. I don't have a short enough spacer up there. But by pressing on the first counterweight, you're not going to bend anything. And the head floats so it lines up. But there's going on, and then for removing it, we just move it down one level. Let me set it on the dampener. And I use the spacer here. I'm using a lighter crank so I don't have to pick up the whole crank. And like if you're trying to press heavy metal in on the third counterweight, you gotta set it on the third counterweight so you don't bend the This is a Sonny Bryant crank, and it's a five and five eight stroke, and it's a heavy devil. Now you set the heavy metal in on the third counterweight, and then you go through the first and second, and, and line it up, and basically just press it in. You know, I'm not going to press it all the way in because we're not finished with the crank, but you can see how easy it is. And then for doing the next one, you set it on the main. And then a lot of them, if you're just doing heavy metal in the end, then you actually move it up to the top. But at this level, we got the same distance that you can use the sun and tooling for pressing off pistons. But most of the time you're just working in the end counterweight, so you just leave it up at the top. And I'm going to cheat, I'm going to use the light crank. There you are for doing your normal easy work. But they're in stock, ready to ship, and it sure saves a lot of work. If you're trying to beat in the heavy metal with a five pound sludge hammer and you slip, you mess up the mains. But give us a call. You won't find a better press for doing this. It's the only one on the market. And I did tell you it was 10 inches of travel. So that way you can actually run a long brooch for doing blower hubs. And that's about it. Here's all the rest of the stuff. This is for pressing off small block Chevy, big block Chevy, Chrysler. These are pushing on dampeners. And these are just different ones for pushing off or for spacers. And that's it. Give us a call.